Let us now try to understand the types of operating system. These types are on the basis of the use or the special characteristics which a particular operating system has. Traditionally speaking, we have nine basic type of operating systems. They would start with uniprocessing, multitasking, multiprocessor, time sharing, multiprogramming, distributed, embedded, mobile, as well as real time. So many types. Why? Each of the operating system either is an ancestor of the next one, either they evolved starting from the uniprocessing and reaching up to mobile OS, or they simply created an extended version of themselves, creating a precise OS for a particular task or a particular platform. So let's try to understand what exactly this type of OSs are and how they contribute to the working and evolution of operating system. To start with the first uniprocessing system, these are among the oldest type of operating system where all the processes would go one after other. All the tasks which we have would go to the processor, all the tasks one after another will go to the processor in a sequence. One after other task is completed and next one is shifted. So in this particular diagram, let's understand process one was done followed by process two, process three is waiting to enter and process four is also waiting in queue. So one after another task would come out. First P1 will come out, after P1 is over P2 will come out, after P2 will over P3 will come out. They are capable of doing one task at a time. Due to which this were among the slowest but most initial system to talk about. They were the most basic to build with. Because they are doing one task at a time, they were not very complicated, they were simple and they were direct to work into picture.